Okay, so the crown is nearby. And we'll see if we get an option to make a choice with who we give it to, or... I kind of... Based on what Siora said to us previously, I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe we'll have an option to just... Let a vote happen or something, but at that point, it's like... You know, like... Oh! Hey, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> From episode five, or I don't know, early, early in the day, we uh, we came across this section. That's so funny. We didn't have the vigor to get across. Uh, there was a dead man underneath. And what was it he was trying to get to? Oh my god. Okay, cool. A scimitar. Well, that would have been that would have been really good a long time ago. Anyways. The thing is, we, we do kind of want to influence, like, I have my preference as to who should be the new High King. Good job, guys. You did great. But in a way, it kind of feels selfish. Like, it's it, we have the trust of all of them, so regardless, they'll at least be cool with us meeting with, um, I know man, Frichtman or whatever. But then you gotta wonder, like, you know, it, it, it's not in our, it's not in our, it's not our deal. It's not our thing. We, like this, we came across with the settlers. Ish. Here's the spears they were talking about. But we've also, we've learned that we are from here. We are one of them, so... Ooh, hello. Almost certain this large tumulus could teach us many things about these creatures. Some native elders told me there was a gigantic skeleton inside it. If only I could study it. In the end, the Nadeg Magaman managed to kill my loyal bodyguard. I'll make sure that his widow receives a hefty allowance. He fought like a lion and gave me his rapier before he died. According to him, I have a chance to survive an attack from the beast if I poison the blade and strike repeatedly. Now, hold on a second. Okay, so it means he's going to be susceptible to poison. This obsidian saber of the serpent... Dose applied three seconds. So I'm thinking... That... Okay, we have a poison on there, but I think this one's poisoned already. Which is kind of interesting. Now... <laughs> oh boy, this is weird. Because... Oh, this is so weird. We found this thing before. And... <laughs> this... I guess. Wow. Okay. Because we killed this thing before, uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything that's defending it now. And I don't know if this was... We had entered a cave at one point early on, way back when we couldn't pass that vigor check. And we were like, oh, okay, well, maybe we'll just, like, maybe we'll just come back here. And I think this was it. This was the one. We were like, oh, these enemies look really tough. I think we got killed when we came down here, or it was, like, almost close to death. We we're like, we'll just come back later. <laughs> it never did. That's unbelievable that this is that place. That's unreal. This was, like... Super early on. At least we don't need to fight that big thing, but... Yeah, see, it just stacks poison automatically without a dosage? That's so cool! Enemies. 
thing is, yeah, it's great that we stack that poison, but with all that... It's a slow tick, right? And it's much faster to just remove the armor. That is so crazy that this is that place that we stumbled onto previously. And then didn't even didn't even go deep in here. We were really underpowered at the time, and the enemies that we faced were scary, so... It's kind of cool how it's worked out. It would have been neat, though, if they... If they knew that we already killed that thing. Because it's not like it was hidden. You know, like the entrance here we found because we were just looking around and exploring. Um... But it would have been cool for like, oh yeah, we were there and we killed that thing already. But I guess that could maybe cause one of them to be like, oh, I'll just go get it then. I'll race you there. What are you doing there? Oh, yeah, she came. Don't like this. Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. Isn't that what you are looking for as well? Yes, but I am not a Renaixe. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so? Do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Not Death happening. is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And I, I get that. And the blessing of Enon Milfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Yeah, Think chased away. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. We already know what she intends to do. And we already know, she already knows that we need to go into the sanctuary. I'm keeping it. Sorry, Which Dad. means we're probably going to have to fight. I believe someone other than you must become the High King. Someone more easily manipulated. Who will obey the orders no. of the Renaixe, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. <sighs> I have Crazy. come to take that crown. And I won't leave without it. We'll see about that. May the allies protect me in this battle. May the shadow invite my enemies. Close to me, sir. Enough. I accept my defeat. Great warrior, my crown. ass. I am not worthy to wear it, so it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Derdra. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well. I keep having this feeling of guilt where it's like... I don't... It feels like it shouldn't be us that makes the decision. But... And Siora even seemed to vouch for her there a little bit. I don't know. At long last, I've managed to enter the Tumulus, but unfortunately the Guardian inflicting a grievous wound upon me. It matters not, I will worry about it later. This tomb is so fascinating. And I thought the Guardians I had observed were tall. It appears that I was wrong. The skeleton that is here... Or sorry, the skeleton that is in here is even more gigantic. What a creature it must have been when it was still alive. According to the natives, this guardian was the first to have appeared, and it was in fact an ancient king of the island who transformed this into th this creature to repel an enemy coming from the sea. Obviously a legend, but my observations lead me to believe that it could be true to some degree. Could that be referencing uh, enemy coming from the sea like the when the knots were bringing over the merchant congregation. 
These beasts were oh, these beasts were men and women before they transformed into guardians. Oh, by means of a process I failed to understand, which we are starting to understand. My wound got infected. I have no way of treating it. What a shame. I would have loved to complete this journal. Hope that someone will find my notes and continue my work. So is this him? Is this Sarah Fedden? Seems like it. Okay. Yeah, you're not wrong, dude. Thing is, I'm, I might, I'm, they might kill me here. Ooh. So I wonder, had we continued in, in this cave the very first time we came here, we likely would not have seen the crown or have been able to access it. But I wonder if we would have found those notes and known this whole time that Sarah Fedden was, in fact, dead. Because we kind of... I was at least thinking that, you know, maybe... Maybe there's a chance that we would um, run into this guy. But, okay, and this is where we came in from. Well, I wonder how the natives are going to feel about this situation. Uh, probably, probably dicey, <laughs> to be honest. Probably not great. Probably not great. I obviously did not remember that this was that same location um, where we had previously killed that thing. And so I've kind of, I was like building up as like, okay, hey, we're going to fight this thing, even though, even though we would easily be able to deal with it. Okay. But I do like when games allow you to complete things out of sequence. Um, I like it more when they reference them. And this game has done a pretty good job of that, generally. I feel like that's a pretty big one uh, that they missed. And especially considering how, in my opinion... I, I'm certainly not the only one that would have stumbled in here and fought that thing. There's no, like, there's no way. It's not super hidden or anything. So, anyways, minor. Okay, well. Off your, okay, hold up here. No, wait a sec, wait. Oh, so we could still give it to her. We're definitely gonna give it to Dunkus. We'll see if this comes to bite us I in the ass, the but. Tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. 
This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes. Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you, and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. Yeah. To the sun that was lost and refound <laughs> on our island. Well said. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. What the? Oh, cool. Influence game? Mind the High King of his promise? I do feel like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Our character has become a little selfish. That is not... Why? Why? Congratulations, Dungus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Oh, interesting. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, Whoa. and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Mil Frichtemann to bless our chosen one. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. We literally have nothing else to do. That's nice. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mil Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Oh. I will have to meditate on everything he told me and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. <sighs> I will open the way. What? Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path and keep a confident heart. Always Those stay on the right hand path. Take hold of them and turn back. Risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg. Always stay on the right hand path. Okay. Holy frick. It's finally happening. Look at the clouds, man. What? This is crazy out here.
I'm I'm a little nervous. With the heat coming off these rocks. Turn our light on? No. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Faces carved in there. The other children. I am he, the old and on me three men. I have followed each of your steps since your arrival. I hail you, Enon Mil Frictimen. I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own <laughs> children. Yep. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit. And her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, yes. learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. Fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands, he spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad. He's talking about Constantine? Because it is not made to be taken. He draws each day a little more from me, and threatens us all. His hunger has no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call Constantine. Yeah, you but like... must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That's... That's impossible. How There's could something we don't know. You must leave now. What? Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here. Without invitation. Oh, frick. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all for us. Whoa. Flee. Or you will be dead. 
What the? Uh, that didn't go as I expected. What the frick? I saw a man running out of the sanctuary, Ooh. and I heard the cries of creatures inside. Is everything all right? Did you manage to get the answers you were expecting? Uh, not exactly. Yes. <laughs> he told me that the Malachor had appeared because of the way the Colonials have treated the Earth. It's actually some kind of poisoning. And it would be possible to cure it, but I'm not sure that I understood how. It's that they Words need to learn the ways of these guys. The heart of the island carry with them a wisdom which may sometimes be difficult to grasp. If you need help, I would be glad to be of assistance. Yes. My clan knows how to heal the earth. Thank you, Dunkus. I suppose I just need time to think. You haven't told me everything, have you? <laughs> there appears to be a storm weighing down on your forehead. Yeah, my cousin. It is true. But it is something I must verify by myself. Oh, I see. Do not hesitate to come and find me if I can help you. Qua Aulum Sekarans. Goodbye. The Christ. So. Inform Constantine. Okay. So the. When we were dealing with uh, the previous High King, he wanted to kill Constantine because he's like, this guy is ruining everything. I'm not sure if that was because of Constantine himself or because he's leading like this group that's coming in here and just the pioneers or the uh, settlers destroying the earth, which is kind of like one of the big things that they have against the Renegzi, right? Is that they destroy the earth, they don't care for it. Whereas these guys are like, they're all about the earth and they nurture it and the beasts and all of that is so incredibly important to them. And it's obviously very... Uh, in line with current times and the way that our planet is going through certain things that um, some people are not dealing with or wanting to deal with. And so it, it really does, it really does hit home in a really heavy way. Um... It really hits home. But I'm just wondering if this is a thing specific to Constantine. Or if this is something more. Something we might not know about him. Because I don't get the impression... It, like, our, our dealings with him have been relatively limited, all things considered. He's our cousin, yeah. He's come here because he's... You know, his father appointed him, and he wants to have the power, and, like, all that. That's, of course, like, I get that. But I don't know what specifically he's done wrong for this kind of stuff to be done. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, we're going to take a break here and come back. We'll go and talk to Constantine, see where this goes, and see if we can't figure out what the F's going on. We'll see you guys soon.